I am Saveria, and this is Game of Fifty Cars. Welcome. Uh, we are going to run through the beginning uh, post the vault. So we've gone through the vault, and we're just about to enter the wasteland now. So um, it asks you this. So we're right at the start, and we're going to go to Sanctuary and build a few things. Um, and just have a look at the building menu and how it all works and what we can create before we do the minute menu quest. Because once you start that, uh, it, it just keeps on generating and sending you off to different places in the wasteland. So that might be a bit better, probably a bit clearer if I speak here. Um, so what I like to do at the start of this game is to collect as many things as I can um, put them into the workbench and then go and clean up sanctuary, um, create a few things, not too many, so you can still do the actual quest for creating sanctuary because when you go to Concord, um, the, the little robot that you talk to will send you to Concord, say go there. You don't have to go there straight away. I mean, you don't have to. You can explore a bit. You can build a bit, you can learn more about the game, you can build up your character a few more levels before you go there. Um, you can head down to the Red Rocket and build that settlement as well. Um, it, there's nothing to stop you from building as many settlements as you like before you go and do Minutemen Quest because it's a specific quest line that will send you across the map to different locations uh, to help those settlers and to go off and you know fight the enemy and so on. And if that's not your game, if that's not really what you wanted to do straight away, if you want to explore the building and how that is, um, then I'll show you what I've got. Um, then that's what you do. Okay, so you just uh, head on to Sanctuary and start building there and start getting things together. And you take your time and go when you're ready to the Concord. Um, and start the Minutemen quest when you when you feel ready and uh, when you have maybe a little more combat combat experience if you are an absolute beginner. So if you're more experienced, you might be just be ready to go and fight things and not really be interested in creating too much. In which case, you can actually avoid that quest altogether <laughs> until much later in the game. Anyway, I've seen people do it. So. If it bores you, because the Minutemen quest is a lot about, you know, building settlements, creating things for people to survive, and so on. Um, and if you find that a little bit boring, then perhaps it's, you know, it's more um, better for you to try to find the Brotherhood of Steel or uh, something similar, and you know, join up with that faction, uh, get to Diamond City, and go in there, and uh, just follow the the action. Um, of the game rather than following the more passive building elements of this game. I love the building elements. For me, I can spend a very long time um, in this game building and um, and have <laughs> over the years. So, yeah, and one of oh, the characters that I have, um, one of my logins, it's um, 35 settlements now, I think, that I have. So yeah, I, I do love to build, and uh, I have some mods, so I'll show you what they are. But you can do it without mods as well, and of course, I started without the mods and had to make do with what I could find in the menu. And uh, there's another little trick to not overloading the settlement, because you have a building limit in the settlement, okay? So let's move on and um, get through here and start collecting some stuff. We'll get to the other end and I'll show you all of that. So perception. Now, I want a little more perception than I originally created on this character. And the reason for that is that perception affects your um, shooting ability with pistols, okay? Um, and you'll see because it's something that you can select in there to improve just you know regular pistol shooting so in that in that particular level up under perception um, and also affects your accuracy in VATS um, now if you don't if you've never used VATS if you've played before and you just went I don't know what that is I highly recommend a mixed style of, of um, VATS 
and free shooting. Okay, so the VAT system is all you know tied up with the with the armor you know the um, that you get in this game too. So you can VATs can get you out of a lot of situations. It can really help you to get through the game so much easier. And if you want, you can take to get a sniper rifle and take to sniping. You can play any way you like. And that's the great thing about it. Um, so I do want, yes, a little more perception. I want full charisma because I'm building settlements. When you're building settlements, you want to start with as much charisma as you can. Um, 10 is fine. And you will gain items that will assist you with each of those. Intelligence, I'm happy to stick with three and put another one into agility. So I'm going to make an adjustment there. And we will X for accept. Do I change my appearance? I don't think so. I think, let's have a look. So when you get to this lift, you have the opportunity to adjust your character. Okay. Uh, so take that opportunity and um, I'll just make sure this is actually, hopefully this is going. Uh, so to, yeah, absolutely take that opportunity, you know. And I can go and have a look and see, you know, do you want to do anything else? I mean, my character's forehead looks a bit, a little unusual. <laughs> so uh, what you can do is, uh, you just highlight, if I go face, I can highlight. And I'm not going to do right from the start because there's music I can't turn off. And uh, I don't feel like getting a copyright strike. So <laughs> we'll just go from here and you can adjust your character here. Um, you can make a completely new character if you feel like it at this point of the game. So we're going to uh, go for a type of eyebrow. I think I might go for the top one, the little thin, maybe thin rounded, average, average eyebrows suit her. There we go. Uh, and we can even change the colour of the hair. You can go, okay, what colour would I like to make it? Brown, dark brown, deep brown, grain. You can even go really white. <laughs> Silver, <laughs> cool brown, chestnut, deep red. Oh, look, deep red looks good on her. I think, where's that? Where's that? Yeah, that's a good colour for her. It suits her skin. Okay, so we'll go accept that. She can have deep red hair. And um, and w when you're done, you can just go, I'm ready, hit that, confirm your character, and you can exit the vault. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Okay. So we're now going to go into the wild wasteland. Just checking the chat here, trying to keep an eye on the chat. I'm trying to get better at that. <laughs> I'm a, a Twitch noob, so <laughs> not a full out noob, but a Twitch noob. <laughs> now, a whole lot of stuff is going to come up because I do have a, a quite a few different mods that I'm exploring. I haven't done them yet. <laughs> For different um, houses and such. So that's all going to happen. Now the way out of here, if you get lost um, coming out of the vault, that over there. Okay. Now I don't know why I don't have my gun equipped. I don't know. There we go. That's what you want to look for. Head towards that billboard there, and that will take you back over the creek and into sanctuary. Okay. Now, uh, in here, turn around. There's a Nuka Cola. <laughs> take everything. Take every single thing that you can find. And first aid on the wall there. Don't miss that. If you um. If you tend to go really fast, I suggest going into crouch mode, okay? And just going along.
dictated, you want to use your left and right trigger. Like that. to make some of um, very, some of the important equipment. Okay, you have ammunition, take the ashtray. The only thing I don't suggest taking is folders because in order to break them down you're going to drop them on the ground and then one by one um, Okay, so stay out of the water. The further along you go, the you can check by using the VAT system. We can actually uh, shoot that down. I have enough ammunition and that will make a meal, in fact. So if we sneak around to where that bloke by is. There it is. They haven't seen us. Yep. Now, you hit the left bumper to activate VATS and you hit the right trigger uh, once you've selected the area of the body uh, that you want to shoot. And for different enemies, you're going to want to shoot different parts of the creature, okay? So this VAT system gives you that advantage so that you can aim exactly at that and not have to try to do that manually. So especially if you're on the Xbox and I'm in Australia and we deal with a fair bit of lag. So when you're dealing with lag, it can make it really hard to be accurate sometimes. So things like this and any advantage you have for accuracy is great and I suggest taking advantage. Okay, let's see. Right, there. Okay. I'm going to get this guy next, quickly. He's going to shoot at us. Second shot. Out. And manual. There we go. I've taken a little bit of radiation damage. Not too much though.
damage. Let me show you here. Yeah. Okay, you can see my hit points are down. You can go um, into your menu and we have a few things. A nougat cola, it will actually increase your rads. Um, silt beans I picked up. I can eat one of those. I can eat a blood leaf. And you'll see that my hit point bar is starting to heal. Okay? So, yeah, it, it's not that much of a big deal, really. Points. So, just stay on top of it, don't let them get too low. Um, you do respawn in this game unless you're playing survival permadeath. Okay? So, I suggest starting in easy or normal and getting to know the game. I always suggest that. I think it's a good idea. You can, you can switch at any time during the game. You can turn up your difficulty. Absolutely no issue at all with that. So if it's too easy, turn it up. Go to your settings and adjust your gameplay settings. Okay. Now, over here we do have a radar, so be careful because that radar... Um, in the early stages can be, has, a, has an attack dog and can be uh, quite dangerous. So I'm just showing you where a few resources are. You don't have to do this. You can go directly to Sanctuary if you're a little bit nervous and um, don't want to do too much exploring too early. But I'd like to grab a few resources before I get there. I can see, see some more mute fruits. So we just check around, okay? We're not too close to the radar. Uh, they can't see us and we can't see them. So just doing a little bit of a loop around. And up here I think there are some more carrot flowers. What have we got up here? Let's have a look. Okay. All right, so once you see that bathtub, there you are. You can see them in the distance. Okay, so there's some good loot there, uh, but you might want to be a little better uh, equipped with armour before you do attempt to that, because that raider can kill you if you don't get your shots off right. The dog distracts you, and then the other one, yeah, is, uh, I think she has a, a shotgun, so it packs a pretty big punch. So just be a bit careful. I suggest avoiding for now. You can always go up later. There's lots of other loot to find. So we found most of what we're going to find. There's, there's some corn and there's a few other things. Um, let's go. Let's get back to Sanctuary, shall we? And um, back to the bridge. And get started. No, I didn't miss anything. Didn't miss anything. Okay. Yep, and it looks like they put. There's a bicycle down there. <laughs> Once you get um, a little more strength up, um, and you have a, uh, you have the correct armor on, you can actually <laughs> lift up cars and <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So. <laughs> There is a car in the river that you can lift up and uh, to gain some resources. <laughs> a few things that there. It's interesting to know. I did manage to do that in one of the playthroughs that I did. Um, okay, so here we are, Sanctuary Bridge. It's been completely devastated and uh, over time, as you can see. That tiny bit of radiation damage. That tiny bit of radiation damage won't actually do me any harm, much harm at all right now. So that's not a big issue. Okay, so here we are. We want to go, we don't want to shoot the robot and I will switch weapons for now. Okay. So we talk to him. It's me. What happened? What happened? 
Hi there! <laughs> Mr. Squatcho! How you doing? I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed him. Oh, are these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is Lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh... Why, sir, had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. <laughs> Not likely. Okay. Sean's been kidnapped. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Okay. Now, at this point, you can either go, are you okay, or you can get food. Get food. What? Food? <laughs> yeah, sure. I... I need a minute to think. Then I will be right back. La 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 la. So... <laughs> The reason I said that is because he does goes goes and gets you something. Meantime, when he comes back, you can you can ask him that question again. So it doesn't matter really. But uh, yeah, definitely get something while you can. Get everything you can while you can. So. Do a few things you can do. I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, Sir and young Sean, they're, they're my family too. Codsworth, are you sure you're holding up okay? I... I... <laughs> Mom, it's been just horrible. <laughs> Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. <laughs> Nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car. The car. How do you polish rust? Oh, he's had a tough time on this one. Okay. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believed Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well... Everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we 
search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Shaw may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Yes, let's go. All right. Lead the way. How to serve, Mum? He's happy now. <laughs> okay. Uh, better get this one going. Once again, been running. You notice that? Less, uh, so once your stamina runs out, you won't have as much in your VAT system to do anything. So just be aware of that. Yep, okay, let's go. Peekaboo! Did you hear that? <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> okay. There's the other one. And you can also. Um, what's hitting you? Do that. I'm trying to show you. There you go. Gun bash. And in this game, gun bash is actually really powerful. So. Uh, if you haven't used it yet, you can hit, while you've got a gun, uh, the right bumper. Okay? And, um, yeah, that's that's quite a strong feature. Yep, we'll come around and uh, get all this stuff. We'll just get the meat first. Like my meat. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, they're not here. <laughs> it's terrible. Yes, they're gone. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? A few people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station. I shall remain here and secure the home. Run. Yes, you do that. Okay. So, surrounded here by a bunch of resources. But here's the thing when you come to Sanctuary, you just look around and go, oh, what a dump, right? <laughs> because it really is a mess. Um, first things first, always search the mailboxes because you can find something in these mailboxes sometimes and if it's your first time at Sanctuary you might actually, I'll just switch to Melly Murphy it's probably the rad roaches that jump out there down the end of the street um, did I get that? so search the mailboxes and on the way down here Nothing. Nope, we're not getting anything from that just yet. Okay, come across to this little workshop. You want to click on that straight away. Okay, now this is a little a building tutorial that uh, it tells you how to move between your options and whatever. Take the time to read it if it is your first time playing. Make sure you take the time to read this and um, then have a go at it. So it'll come up with this menu here. What you can do is um, just back out of that and you'll see up in the left of the screen it says to hold that little button, it's the tiny button, that you hold down and it will bring the menu back up. And to get, to get rid of it you just hit it once. And it'll go away. Now there's another trick and it's called, see how it says transfer. Hit the X button for transfer on the Xbox controller. Now what you want to look at is at the bottom of the screen it says um, take, take all, store all junk. So 
your junk will be there okay all of that is what you have collected so far all right so you want to store all of that if you want to take anything out just hit the right trigger and left trigger to go between junk and your inventory you can go through and cho choose anything that you want to take out of there so what might we want to take out of there possibly some of the pre-war money maybe this anything we would like to decorate with okay if you want anything for decorations um, rather than just using it uh, as for resources because it's automatically broken down so if it's in the the junk section of um, of this little workshop then it will automatically if a component of it is needed to create something that you're making so just be aware of that if you you know like I just took out um, a few things and we can you know we can put them maybe in there for now as long as I don't enter we'll take this typewriter in fact and the oil because that's really important so we'll grab that and under here get hold of this little makeshift ba shift battery and transfer those in because they're going to help you to build uh, some defenses I'll just have to go singularly through that though. So put that in, put that in, that typewriter and the can. Right. And we need to just create a, a container. Um, but no need to do that yet. What we might do first is click on this menu and just clear up some general junk before we start looting. No need to start looting yet. Just clean up some of the general junk around the place. Put that into the workshop. The rubber can be used for flooring. So um, especially if you don't have any mods, uh, the flooring, the rubber flooring is uh, quite nice actually. It, it just, you know, gets rid of all the gunk on the floor and uh, doesn't look too bad. So we've already got an armor workbench we have um, our little workshop and I'll show you where to get a chemistry workbench so let's grab a few things that are useful now you cannot get these to work again you have to actually replace them so for now scrap get the wood and these houses you can scrap this entire house you can't go into it there's nothing you can do so just scrap that and you'll get lots of steel which is going to help you to build uh, down here are some rad roaches so I'll have to jump out of the menu in a moment so they will attack me <laughs> uh, now when you come up to containers instead of just scrapping this come out of your menu there you are see walk up and grab what's in that container always check containers before you scrap them always because they may have something in them um, so just be a little bit careful of that because you can lose some good resources so now we can scrap it there we go and to see what it's going to give you, if I just pause there, it'll tell you four steel for that cabinet. So I can scrap that cabinet or I can keep it. Now I can store that or I can put it back up on the wall. There you go. So you don't have to scrap everything. You can just place. So the items don't necessarily have to be scrapped, right? They can be useful to decorate. So don't get rid of everything. Unless you've got enough mods, you know. So, I mean, if you're very experienced, then you will. But uh, if you're just, you know, early game or haven't done much building, don't get rid of everything. Um, 
just learn to repair it like that. And all I'm doing is I'm highlighting it and clicking the A button to select it, then replacing the item. Okay. It automatically comes upright uh, when I when I click on it. So that's a neat little trick that when I first started I didn't know. <laughs> I just went, you know, uh, I could probably scrapped way more than I should have uh, at that stage. So. Okay, let's go kill these rad roaches that are hanging around. Okay, where are you, roach? There's three, I think. Might be in this house. Hello. You can even use your VAT system. Um, I don't, with Melly, I don't use the VAT system. I only use the VAT system for when I'm fighting with a gun, um, and I'll do use both, like you know, uh, just interchange depending on the situation. So, and the enemy as well. Uh, particularly if you go to Far Harbor, you'll find this that you know you have to shoot an antenna or you have to do something. There you are. Where's the other one? Um, so. I can hear it scuttling, but I can't see it yet. Not sure where it's at. But they sneak up in you. They're pretty small, these ones, but they do the same kind of damage. Where are you? I'm looking. I'm not seeing. Is it in here? No, it's not here. Okay. No doubt it's going to creep up on me. So just try to clear the enemy because if you're in the building menu and you start getting attacked, um, you can get all flustered and sometimes <laughs> not be able to get out of it fast enough depending what's attacking you. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite typically later uh, down the track, you will uh, tend to get attacked when you are actually. I don't know why it's not spawning the other one. Um, you tend to get attacked when you're building, so <laughs> the minute I open this up, Roach will come for me. Getcha. <laughs> I better not bet, just in case, hey? <laughs> All right, now these ones you can't check, so there's nothing in those ones. Um, that was sitting on top of it, so I can just put that into the workshop by using the B button. Look at that. Clean up all this general junk. Now I get rid of this. I know some people like to keep the car. I actually just get rid of it because I build here. And we can get rid of this. And that will give us all those items. So do look around because there is a lot. We'll have a rad storm coming on pretty soon. Yeah, sounds like it. Um, if you come down here, you will find some grenades in there. So we're going to be building in a rad storm. All right. Just keep on grabbing the stuff. Gonna get rid of some of these trees. I might repair that for now. We do have to get indoors. So we can start getting to work on the house. Uh, this house. Let's kill that. Gives us more space. Get rid of the tree. All these things that are on the road. We should have enough now. This is our little place. So let's go in here. Indoors. Close the door. Alright. Now, 
it's getting dark and hard to see so holding down the B button will actually activate the light on your pit boy okay you want to read this mag okay uh, helps you with the criticals so got that uh, take that. now I've just picked up this coffee if I wanted to say take something and drop it on the ground maybe the crayon Uh, drop is X, okay. And what did I just pick up the coffee? Where's that? That will be a junk one at coffee tin. Okay, I want to drop that. Um, and I just uh, just put some money around the place. There we go. So I dropped some items. What I can do is I can pick it up. Hold the A button. Yeah. See where it's up here? I don't smoke, but somebody probably does, so our guests might want to use them. <laughs> Let's put the coffee. Oh, I accidentally picked it up. Yeah, you've got to hold it. If you just touch on it, it will in fact. Um, not activate properly, so put the crayon there. And you should be able to straighten that up. Try that again. Drop you. And let's drop a crayon. I don't really like the tinned foods in this. Um, sugar bombs, look at the, how many rads it gives you. So you're already going to be dealing with different situations of absorbing rads and until you get the stats, um, really, you, you don't want to increase the potential of, um, of getting rad poisoning. So let's pop that there, see if we can straighten it. Now you can rotate the item using the right and left trigger. So I can put that there, oh no, it's still going to fall over, it's a shame. Uh, Stay. Ha ha, there we go. And this is how you can decorate your houses. So they don't have to look boring. I mean you can um you can make them look really nice. So you've got the crayon there now and uh let's get this coffee tin up. Put the coffee tin over here. If you push it up against the wall sometimes or up above you and rotate the item. Sometimes you can get it to stay, but this one doesn't want to. I'll have to pick it up a little differently. Okay, that's not bad. Let's put it here. Oh, it's going to fall over, isn't it? A little bit of fiddling. I'll try again. But anyway, meantime, I've got a kettle to put up here. Let's put that on the stove. I think if you just drop this one, it's alright. Sometimes they'll situate themselves. No, I'm going to have to situate it. A bit fiddly. And out here is a toaster. The toaster is the easiest one, surely. <laughs> oh, that's straightened it, actually. Alright, here we go. Got it. There we go. So we've got the toaster there. Um, let's put a little, nice little tea kettle there. Where is it? All right, so let's try dropping that again and that one and let's see if we can pick them up. That might work. Ah, oh, got to hold the thing, didn't I? see. That'll do. Right, come back here. There we go. So it's a little bit of fiddling. But <laughs> I'm knocking everything over. 
Beware the tea kettle. Aha, there we go, got it. Now that is completely upside down, so we should be able to just rotate. Put that on the stove. So you can go through the houses and just tidy them up as you like, you know, like these. Um, yeah, that saucepan doesn't like to behave. Okay. <laughs> Want to go that way? There we go. And let's just move this little bread box somewhere. Let's put it here. There we go. All right, so we're starting to get in some sort of order in this little kitchen here. And if I pick it up at the bottom. Hopefully, I can rotate it sufficiently. Yeah, this is where I do it. Let's see if I can knock it to into position. No, it just wants to lie down. Okay, that's a whole lot of filling that I'm not prepared to do right now. So that'll do for the purposes of just demonstration. Um, so yeah, you can spend a lot of time, as you can see, doing this. So I can pick this up as well and replace, um, or just place it somewhere else in the, in the house. Now that's destroyed, there's no point keeping it. That one's okay. You can put that one somewhere. Or you can just chuck everything in the middle of the room and redecorate. Right, that will be able to be placed quite easily actually. There we go, there's a globe there. Okay, so now the ottoman, the minute you click it, it'll spit, spin around. Okay, so you can keep it or get rid of it. I generally just get rid of it. The carpet, just rotate it you find a position. There's nothing you can do for that thing and that doesn't work so just remove it entirely. Now you can just place the old lounge in here and you can do this in every house. Uh, you can keep the telly or you can get rid of it. If you get rid of the television here's what it gives you. Steel and wood. Not very much. Okay, they do cost a bit to build, so. All right, we can just put this here. Straighten that up. Uh, that thing you have to just get rid of. And in the corner here, you've got some extra steel. Five old flag you can place back into the shelf. It never goes onto the shelf properly, it just goes like that. And we want to have a look at um, what's, what we have in here. So there's something in that one. I always leave this for, uh, for the robot. Always leave them some fuel. And you do need to arm settlers in this as well. So keep that in mind, um, that you're not just collecting for yourself, you're collecting for your communities and um, for your settlements. Click this and you can choose something. So what are we going to choose? Let's choose perception. We want to increase our perception, definitely. All right, just going to pick up these blocks. The board game gives you some nuclear material, which is uh, very useful. And uh, see what we can find in here. Not very much, all right. So let's clear this out. Sean is definitely not a baby anymore, so we don't need this. Now we can keep the little table and move that in here. It can be useful somehow. So put that up against the up against the window. Uh, now there's a, there are ways to actually recover the floor so you can redo this floor entirely if you want to 
However, if you look at the top right hand of the screen, you'll see at the top menu, it tells you how much you have of everything. And then it tells you the size of your settlement. Now, once that meter fills up, you can't do any more building. Now, there is a little cheat method, as you, I suppose, um, that's commonly used. It does, however, lead to some glitches that can occur in your settlements. So I think that, I just think for now, you know, if it's your first one and um, you just want to have a nice place, you know, have, have an experience of what building is like, then um, just be mindful of how much you're scrapping as well try to just place objects that are already there into a better position and therefore save on your settlement size okay uh, because everything you make uh, and everything that goes back in is going to increase that size come around the back we have these chairs just click on it and it it goes upright now you cannot put them um, you can't put these chairs into the um, the workshop. It just gives you the option to destroy them. So pick them up, all right, and um, and just re and place them somewhere else. So we are going to make a nice little area uh, just here, and uh, this will be a little entertainment area. I can either choose this area or next and in some set some settlements I've chosen um, to the right of this building this area just here um, but quite commonly the spawn enemy spawn will come from that direction that I'm facing and this direction here in there and from the rear of the settlement okay so you want to set up uh, some automatic guns around the place to deal with that and um, also once you get some people you want to assign them uh, to some guard posts in order to protect your settlement from those areas the harder the mode you're in the more difficult those fights are going to be okay for now you know uh, in the normal mode, I'm just playing in normal mode for the sake of just building relatively uninterrupted because otherwise you will be interrupted quite a lot. And like I said, you can actually, um, when you're building, what you can do is you can have it in easy mode for building if you really want to. I mean, it's your game, right? Play it your way. How It's your game. You own the game. You bought the game. Yeah. Um, you started the game, you've invested your time, play it the way that you want to play it. And therefore, uh, don't feel pressured to do necessarily what other people do or even what the game tells you to do. Do what you want to do. <laughs> that is my suggestion, particularly if you're very interested in exploring the game and building. Okay, you might want to slow down the process of taking on all those quests and focus on what you find most enjoyable first. Um, still undertake the quests, of course, but you know, um, we need cloth. Um, but yeah, do it, do it your way, kind of thing. So we've got a nice table and chairs there. What we do have is a cooking station down here, and we have also got a chemistry workbench behind one of these houses and if you've never found that before if you just ran away from a sanctuary all distressed it's terrible look at this awful place <laughs> there it is I found it <laughs> well in this case let's get our points up with the VAT system all right now, I suggest um, clicking on two or three and oh here we go yay gun bash see that <laughs> insta kill <laughs> so um, yeah so I, I do I, I do think using the bat system is a good idea it does actually 
come in very handy. <laughs> you don't have to, not everybody does. Like I said, it's your game. So you do what you want to do. Right, so you've got these ones here um, as well. We can move those into our little entertainment zone um, where all the people can eat and uh, talk and gather. And we'll put a bell there so we can gather all our people so that we can dress them and do all that sort of stuff. Now here is our chemistry station. We want to take this bag of fertilizer that's going to go into, uh, into the uh, work, uh, workshop. So, oh, might actually, let's take a save quickly. Before I keep going, uh, yeah, we'll just new save. All right. No, it's not going to let me do it. Let's get closer. I'm trying to activate the workshop. There we go. Now it's going to let me have it. Okay. It's a bit too close to the edge. Um, yeah, you definitely want to take these. They are steel. That gives us full rubber, uh, all very useful. That will give us wood, and you don't want to destroy this, you want to take it with you. Bring this back to our center point. Just place it there. Okay, so now we've got this one, weapons. We've got armor and chemistry. We need our cooking station. Let's go for a rug and go and get that. Knock that down while we're at it. And get rid of this car. Get a few more things. Now we've found the rad roaches. I might actually take this as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> they love to attack while you're in the, men the <laughs> build menu. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm going to take that as well. Rid of this. What have we got down here that we can use? Not much. Uh, a good place to put generators is behind these hedges so they don't kind of muck up your settlement. But you do need a fair bit of electrical so that you can um, set up your wiring. So just be aware of that. Now, you can come down here. There are some things in the river. That's the thing. Yeah. Ain't nothing else there. So we've got ourselves a whole lot of stuff to start and I'm going to make a uh, drinkable water fountain. So there's a lot to clear as you can see. There's still plenty for me to do. I've got to still check so many houses. But the next thing I want to do after this, after we make our little water fountain and a bed, is I would like to show you a secret location. <laughs> it's not that much of a secret. Some quite a lot of people know about it, but if you don't, then it is still a secret. So, um, and this little location is trouble-free, and you can get quite a lot from it. Okay. So we want to come into here and make ourselves a bed. Let's do that. It's an absolute disaster in this room. Definitely clearing all of that. So I'm just going to use the cloth from that rug. Let's bring the lounge out here. Okay, put another chair there. There we go, nice and cosy. That'll do for now. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Good. 
get into the perfection later. <laughs> we just want to get objects into a place where we're going to be using them and then we can arrange them, make them look pretty. And in fact, you can replace this lounge entirely. So, um, in the, even if you don't have any mods, uh, this lounge is replaceable. Okay, just in the, the absolute basic menu, it's uh, it's replaceable, and it's a nice bright red lounge too. <laughs> so get to know your building menu because it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's really rewarding building. And you can, you know, make your own style, do things your way. So, we want to click along, um, actually out of here, uh, so the down button, and then along to furniture up button. And as we're using the D-pad to do this, we want to go to beds. Now these are from a mod, all these beds are from a mod. So I will go to one of the stand, the beds that you get just in the standard menu and that is this one here which is the nicest bed that you can get in the standard menu you can get yourself some pillows as well if you want there we go we now have a little bed and it's important to rest and to get the xp bonus from resting all right uh, nothing you can do about this particular bathroom the house that this is the house that you start in okay when you go through uh, the beginning of the game so uh, this house uh, doesn't, it's not as customizable as some of the other houses, all right? Uh, so the kitchen, for instance, it's just, you cannot destroy this. This is all just here. Um, you can replace the fridge and uh, you can replace the cooker, a few things. Okay, so we have got that. What we want to do now so I'm going to go back down to this with the, by using the down button. Going back. We want to go to... Um, oh, no, I don't. I want to go to furniture, sorry. Furniture, miscellaneous furniture. So go all the way to the miscellaneous in furniture and then across. And you'll see there's uh, toilets and such. What we're looking for is a sink like that or this little water fountain to drink from okay and the reason is that it's pure water and if you especially if you are in uh, playing in survival mode then you can fill up your bottles um, with this particular water fountain all right so it didn't take too much as far as steel is concerned and if you clean up a little bit around sanctuary you will have enough to at least get started. Repair health, uh, you see how my health is repaired now. So yeah, so there we go. Now we're going to have to do get some light, so let's uh, sleep for a little while. Uh, so seven, do seven hours, let the character rest. And building will give you a lot of experience points. You feel well rested up in the, the left top of the uh, screen there. Pardon me, just having a sip of my nice hot tea. Okay. So there we go. Um, and as you can see, that looks a whole lot better than it did when we first walked in and it was just a big messy disaster. So this here, we can move, um, easy peasy. Go into your build menu and let's, um, let's just put it back over here. There we go. Now I've got a decoration there too. Uh, pictures, right, so. Decorations, in decorations. Right from the get go, if you have wood, you can create. Now those are from a special uh, menu, I think. So you can create a number of different artworks that you can decorate your place with. And I suggest doing this because it, you can really just make it look so much better simply by putting a picture on the wall. There you are. It's not particularly straight, is it? <laughs> Let me move that. <laughs> hmm. Ah, that'll do. That's all right. 
Um, okay, and so yeah, and you'll see uh, up to the right there it says, okay, uh, it's going to take five wood to build this particular painting, and we can go for the Monet ripoff, <laughs> so, <laughs> or um, you know, whatever you like, as a cute little cat picture. cats, there's a little dog, a moose, the beautiful big landscapes and things. Uh, that's yeah, really quite nice some of them. Let's, let's put this pretty one up here, have a look at that. I'm all for the artwork, there we go. The aesthetic, I'm all for the aesthetic. <laughs> that looks a lot better and I'm stuck on the lounge. Okay, so improving this house already even though the floor is atrocious and I cannot um, seem to get rid of this pile of leaves. Uh, there is a mod, I don't have that mod, I think it's for computer, uh, for PC, um, not Xbox, but you can actually place flooring down if you want to try and get rid of it. Oh look there's some more money, let's just place that up here. All right finding lots of money on the floor. I want to feel wealthy and fortunate. There we go. And okay, now the, the trick with this door, um, with replacing the door, is you want to go across to structures, right? And you can do if you've got in a concrete, um, a concrete door, it should place, let me see. Some of them don't place here because of the it's quite a low ceiling height and it uh, seems to struggle with that. So it can be a bit of an issue. So if I place that for instance, let's have a look. That's not bad, okay? So we don't have a lot of concrete so I'm not going to do any more on this until I have more concrete. Uh, we just don't have enough, really. 50 is not very much. Um, I suppose we could put a wall and just make it look a bit prettier and that's that's probably going to be the limit for this right now. It's not going to place. Oh, that's fun. Okay, there we go. There we are. Right. That'll do for now. Um, it's hard to place things over some objects you'll see that is sticking out just ever so slightly and stops uh, the placement. So you have to be a little creative with some of these things. There is a particular way of placing called the rug glitch, um, <laughs> which I know some of you will use. I'm not going to use any cheats at all on, uh, on this stream. So you can look up all the different little tricks that you can use if you want, but to authentically place, uh, yeah, you might just have to be a bit creative, like, okay, the, well, the garage area is just going to have to be concrete. <laughs> just too bad. <laughs> um, and, you know, you can fill it in, like this, if I can get it to place as well. can be a little fiddly. Why is it not placing? It wants to go there. Yes, yeah, see something in the way, uh, and it's, it's being a little... Fiddly. So I'm not going to keep fiddling with that, but I'm happy with this because what I want to do is put a door. All right, uh, my main my objective is to put a door on this. So let's do that. Door. Done. All right, house is now sealed. We have a door at the front, and we just need to do the windows. So, windows. Um, there's a few ways you can do it. If you have the mods, all right, I'll show you what they are. Creation Club, Arcade Cabinets, Capital Wasteland, Desert Island, Home Decor, Modern Furniture and VR Workshop. That's all the mods that I have for, so far from Creation Club that I use. Um, if you don't have those, then you're going to be on the basic menu and uh, so therefore 
we want to try to replace, cover these windows, all right? So if we're going to try to cover the windows, uh, because of the height of this building, the roof and everything, you can uh, look up how to replace the roofs in Sanctuary. Now I've tried and I wasn't very good at it to be honest, so uh, some people are better than others at these things, I, it wasn't really, I just, I wasn't very good at it I don't think. <laughs> I did exactly what I was supposed to do, but I, it was just not really working for me. So, you see if you can get it to work for you. However, I have another way that I like to uh, to cover windows, and that is you can either go to right and drop that in front. I'm going to show you what that looks like and get it to place. It can be very fiddly to place in front of the house. Yep, it's almost. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to play. Come on. There. All right. So it wants to play. It's quite a distance. What I can do is do this. Try to edge it in. Something seems to be lock blocking it. Yeah, it's got to place quite a distance. So whatever you do at the front of this house is going to be a little way from the window. Okay, because there are things, clearly something, yeah, they see that sticking out. So there's some things sticking out um, down here as well. That's going to create a distance. Um, so you can just, I'm just going to get rid of that and show you what else you can do. Another way to cover them is to go, if you pick up the glass bottles, always pick up glass bottles and put them, if you're not using them, um, put them into the, oh no, the prefabs, oh, not, okay, you've got the barn, yeah. So rotate this left and right trigger. Uh, depending on what you're trying to create, you can actually do it this way. It gives you a different look as well. Um, I don't want that one. I want the other one, the warehouse. That one. Yay. Okay. So what I'm looking for is the window, which is over here. And just check, because it can be, is that the broken one or the... Yeah, always check because there's a broken one and there's one that's not broken. <laughs> so you can use this in front of your windows, all right, as well. So that's another option. Um, you can also do, if I can find the half piece, where is that half piece? We should be able to place down a half. There it is. Yeah, it's going to be a bit too high. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. Depending on the structure itself, you may be able to use. Um, you can do a combination of things. I mean, so I've seen some people use these actually in different situations to make an interesting design. So you can get very creative. There you are, that's the one I'm looking for. That one there, that is just the glass and sometimes it places from the inside. Let's see if we can place it on this one. So it's a bit of fiddling and you've got to be prepared to do that. To find something that's going to work. Yeah, so that one's, we might be better off just using Yeah. Okay. So that actually covers the window. That's not too bad. It's relatively close. We might be able to pull it in a bit closer. You can actually do um, 
the entire frontage like this then place on top such as a piece hope you're not falling asleep there <laughs> either way you can make it look kind of groovy or go the other way place not going to sit on top once again I'm it's a matter of fiddling I have to move it out just a tiny bit there we are all right so you can see what I'm doing here is I'm recreating the frontage of the house all right with this is with the basic building menu that you get when you first start Fallout. If you start getting the mods, different mods and um, Creation Club, then your possibilities change dramatically and I'll show you what they are. Um, okay, so I can make myself a little building like that and it's going to look not like a house, it's going to look like a regular building um, if I continue with this, all right? Um, for instance, this one, if I could get the robot to move, <laughs> is He's not going to move, is he? But anyway, we can keep going with this. We want to keep this going across the top. There we go. I don't know how we're going to get rid of him. <laughs> how are we going to get rid of him? <laughs> I'd have to get him. I'd have to move him somewhere. We'll make him a booth. I have to make him a little booth. <laughs> Alright, so you've got your door there. You can actually create a whole other door here too. So you can go, yep, okay, I'm going to have a double door. Let's go for a double door. And I think if we go out a little, you can always replace. Um, there's a half wall. Take your half wall and put it here. Not that way. Right, it's not going to place all the robots there. <laughs> we want to kind of place it in here somehow. It doesn't seem to want to do it, so let's see what I can do. And you can layer these. The half walls are. Uh, it's going to go there. Let's see if we can move that. So yeah, it can be a little bit fiddly. You just, like I said, you've just got to get to into the fiddling and uh, see what you can create. It's going to place here, so we can go here. For the purposes of creation, we can just slowly build ourselves a little frontage. Yep. Oh, that's why, because I chose the wrong thing. <laughs> Wait a sec. That's not the right half wall. Am I wearing? I, I might not have the right glasses on. <laughs> That's the one. There we go. No, okay. Pardon me. Right. So this is the one we want. Not that one. And maybe. I have to just take the top of it. Yeah, maybe facing the other way. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. And we can move this closer now. That should click. Hooray! That's what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right. You get the idea. You can see what I'm trying to get to get out here. Now uh, we're going to have to go back to the other one. Yep. There we go. There we go. And. Uh, So we've got like a little makeshift extra entrance there and we can just give that a uh, maybe okay so now unfortunately the robot is in the way at the moment so we can't really kind of do much here I can just place a couple of half walls I guess 
or we can close him in and <laughs> give him a door to come out. <laughs> it's a funny thought. So, here we are. Let's just keep going, see what I can do. There we go, for now. He's got his little booth. <laughs> okay. And so what we're going to want to put place across the front here is another one of these. And very gradually we will create our own little building. Um, yeah. Where was it? There? All right. I'm not sure if that's quite aligned, but we can check. Go over here. Oh, I see where the problem is. Straighten it up. It is quite a distance out, but that's just what that's what happens, unfortunately. Anyway, back to that other one. We can close that off, and we can just do a frontage, and uh, and then we'll try something else. And I'll show you something else. All right. Yep, that'll be the one. Okay, and actually that will do for now. You can see what I'm trying to create here. And once you have these pieces down, you can start layering uh, some more flooring up there. So let's go to the flooring, and uh, no, we don't want that. We do want floor, a wood floor. Either or. I probably want to get a uh, a ladder up there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get myself a. Get some stairs for the building. It helps if you're on the roof a lot of the time. So the stairs um, that fit these houses really well are these. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, straight up onto the roof. Okay, so you'll see that this is at this level here and hopefully we won't have to build around that we might just can't really tell but it sort of looks like it should be okay so we could go let's start adding some floors not those floors I want to go to uh, warehouse warehouse floors all right and we should be able to do that Right, that wants to play. All right, and so now we are getting a structure together. We've got another level, and we just need to make a staircase up to this level. And we can start to make some, well, I suppose high rise buildings as well. Okay. Uh, 348 wood. Yeah, I'm still going to collect some stuff. There. And that just gets rid of that unsightly roof. <laughs> uh, this, uh, we can probably place something on top of this too. It's not going to work, but we might be able to get that one up there. There you go. Okay, that's fixed. So, always give yourself an out from those walls when you're building. Because uh, they do kind of you can't get stuck in them. Um, okay, so the other way that you can replace the roof is from inside by using these upwards, okay? Uh, and I'll just show you that very quickly. So let's go into this house and we'll replace a roof tile. So what we can do is you can't see it from the outside, uh, uh, which means that you it still looks the same. Still looks horrible on the outside. <laughs> However, um, what we can do is this. See how that's yellow? When it goes yellow, you can place it. All right. So you want to start somewhere. Maybe you want to start here and um, try to work our way along. So we'll place. Um, I might be able to 
use these ones and the shack floor uh, where is it keep coming along shack upper floor is probably the better one to use there we go okay so I can now play replace Um, the roofing from the inside just to make sure that the rain doesn't come in so it stops the water coming through when it rains and uh, yeah so that's that's something that you can do okay and I tend to build a, uh, a security outpost up here anyway up the top there so that's worth doing just um, You can also turn those around if they're around the wrong way. So there we go. Let's get a ladder up there. And you can go sideways if you want to, like so. And then put a little, some stairs through this, this way. We'll get some stairs. So the way to do that is get yourself some stairs okay. there you go and uh, if you can't get up there they can't get up there basically so your NPCs will get stuck so just be <laughs> just be aware that uh, your NPCs can't always uh, yeah don't always manage walking around different areas very well so uh, I'll put that into the workshop actually Okay, so for security, what you can do is, I'm not sure if we collect enough enough just yet, but what we have, here we are, we can build two turrets. So I can have a turret here, uh, facing this way for anything that attacks, because they do attack from down here. Or what I like to do, my favorite place for these turrets, is over here. Let's just take a look, there you go. So we're starting to build a kind of warehouse structure there. Now there's other options. There is a barn structure you can do um, in the base menu. And then once you get into the mods, um, it, it gets a lot nicer. <laughs> it's so much prettier. I'm gonna put this on the roof. Find a position. Doesn't want to go, does it? Turn you around because they do come from over here so I can just get it on the edge somehow doesn't want to sit on there the rickety old roof doesn't want to sit on the rickety old roof I might just have to uh, replace a tile on that roof let's do that I only need a small one and it should place. Come on. It doesn't look like anything wants to place on this roof. Ah, there we are. Okay. It's a shack roof. Got it. Okay, that's what we want. And back to defense. Let's put our turret. So you need steel, circuitry, gear, and oil. So that's why I got the oil can, and that is why I also um, said get pick up the desk fan, and uh, th there's a toaster as well. So pick up all those things because they're going to help you to build. Is this still not going to place? Okay, this is a little weird. I don't know why it's not placing today. But okay, for now we can just put it here. If they get close enough, good luck to them, but... Look at the top where it says defense. And you'll see it says uh, five. So we've started to create some defenses. I want to deal with these people that come from, uh, the raiders that come from this uh, creek, this, this river. So they run up here. Um, so I'm going to just for now pop this one up here it's, it spins around so that'll be sufficient it'll cover the bridge and it'll also cover 
across this way. We also will get bloat flies coming from here and sometimes wasps. So uh, yeah, Let's regain some resources there. There's a car which will give me back some metal and that will give me electrical. Now we do need water. We don't want to do the full thing because we have a quest to do it. So we're just going to do a little bit of water um, and that'll be fine. I only keep two post boxes and that is this one and sometimes this one um, if I can stand it because you can replace them later but yeah they don't look very nice so I'll leave them there for now this tree can go it's in the way and this light pole there we go so we've got a few more resources now I don't think that's broken is it no that's a good one um, another car yes indeed there's another car here we can do and we can start cleaning up this end of the neighborhood as well there's a whole house there might as well this car uh, there's a dog house which I'll put aside because so let's just store this dog house and store the bowl because we're going to get a dog and um, we can just straighten these up. Alright, there we are. It's a little bit irritating, but uh, hopefully it's going to stay. Let's see if it'll stick on there. Nope, doesn't want to. Hence why they had this here. That should fix now. There we go. All right. I can just place that like that. I think this one I can't actually get, so it's out of the. Is it? Yeah, some of them they won't won't let you pick it up, so. Do what you can. And pick this up. So we've got stacks of resources. We can make lots of things. We do want to make some water. So let's get rid of all of this junk down here. And do be careful because this water is radiated, so um, it, will, it will cause you radiation damage. If you do go across, be quick. <laughs> Run for it. Okay. Don't want to take too much radiation damage too soon. We can use that for the Brahmin. And... Uh, So we'll definitely be getting a cow in a settlement. This is a broken table. Put that away. Right. Unfortunately you can't fix this uh, set of swings here. But uh, these ones you can't move. So that's the park that I gather they were going to go to for some fun <laughs> down the road. It was not a, a long walk at all, was it? <laughs> all right. And in this back garden, there's some things here just put into the workshop for place. Let's go put this over here. So let's start to decorate a little area. Right. There's a lot of running around. This character never tires. <laughs> well they do tire but <laughs> 
bit of a trooper, I must say, at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, let's put that there. Alright, because I'm going to actually be getting traders here too. Um, how are we going for time? Okay. So I'm going to do an extended play and continue building after this. So I'll finish at 10 AEST, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then shall do some extended play on building. So uh, you can just, uh, we'll enjoy some game ambience and I'll just be building. So you can watch and learn if you like, um, get ideas or whatever. I'm always getting ideas from other people. Uh, I don't consider myself to be like the best builder, but I'm okay and I have lots of you know, ways around different things having done lots of building in this game. I've got, as I said, 34, 35 settlements <laughs> and each one is different. Um, so yeah, every settlement's different to build. Uh, so once you start claiming settlements and uh, you'll find that some of them are really awkward, really tricky, it's hard to get enough beds for your survivors um, and, and so on. So yeah, it can be quite challenging. Let's move this. Unfortunately when you do that lamp disappears but it's okay because we're going to be making some candles and such things and uh, getting some electricity organised as well. Oh, there is nothing in there. Okay. I'll take the wood. What else have I missed? Uh-huh, here. Now, do I want these trees? I don't like old broken trees. These ones still drop wood for you. So keep them, um, the, ma the maple I think it is. Every time there's a rad storm, you'll end up with some wood. Uh, so it continues to give you resources. Hello Puss, I have a little visitor here. How are you, eh? Okay. Good to cuddle up to me. Now, why was I down here? That's right, because um, defence guard posts look like that. I'll turn it around so you can see. Ever. So you can in fact just pop one up the corner here and uh, when you get when you get the Minutemen here they'll automatically start manning these posts. Right. There we go. Just gonna let me place it this time. Yep. Good. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I've got ten on defense, and that is because of the turrets, alright, and I need to go water. So I can do one of these straight away and we can even just put it here, um, that'll do. So there we go, water, fill that up for the Brahmin and we can also do something larger. I like these ones but um, they do take a fair bit. You also have to have the local leader perk. Let me see. Maybe. I don't think I've leveled up. Yes. Ah, oh look, see? Okay, I can get that. Local leader. Yes. Sorted. Now, let's look at perception. Uh, intelligence and perception. Rifleman. non-automatic rifles so I use those and um, there's quite a few in the game so yeah sniper rifles and such definitely worth getting that perk so there's a locksmith uh, explosives sniper okay so perception is really really useful for clearing out enemies um, and the other one is um, yeah Gunslinger. So agility, uh, if you want to get the, the gunslinger, non-automatic pistols. I don't like the automatic weapons, I tend to avoid them. Um, I will use them occasionally in this game, but I just find that, yeah, uh, I don't know, I just don't, don't really 
I don't really use them in this game. <laughs> I've got set guns that I use, uh, particularly the 44, and I can show you where uh, where you can get a really uh, a 44 early in the game. That's a very strong weapon to have. Right, so it's getting dark. Let's turn on the light. Now, what can I make? And will I have resources left after if I do? That's a big question. So this one is going to need power, which means I have to build a generator. Um, this one gives us 10 on water, and that is a water tower. What do I need? 20 steel and 10 concrete. Oh, I love it. Let's do it. I'd prefer to do the bigger one, which is going to give us 20. So it's a bit of an eyesore though, so let's come out for a second. We might put it all the way over here somewhere where it's not going to be in the way. Not an area that I tend to build in this map. Let's see what have we got here. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Ah, if I can get it to highlight. Anyway. Clear this away. Right. And let's just build a nice big water tower right there. Done. So, if you don't have that, you will have to build one of these and I'm going to do it so you can see. All right. Um, so this is a powered water pump. As you can see, we can put this up closer to the settlement. So we might want to put it up here near this little farming area so that they can have access to water. Maybe just put it there. Right. Oh, got another level up and um, in order to I might actually move that so what I normally do for these is give them a little shelter so I'll just add it onto this house actually we'll just stick them here just move that for a second there you go it'll snap on good okay so I'm gonna put this in no? Is that not going to work? I can't put it in there. I can't put it in there. Okay. Never mind. We'll go this way. So the tap faces out. In fact, it's not a bad idea because I can put my generators under cover. And it's a good idea to protect your generators because raiders love to shoot them. So do super mutants. <laughs> they love to wreck your, ra wreck your, uh, your power. So you can just um, you can power it with what does it need four or something. I've got that um, losing track here. Water. So that's water. I need four. Power. That's no, defense. Power. Right. Wakey wakey. That's five. We'll just use that one. It'll give us more than enough power. Hit the Y button and connect. There you go. And the beauty of this is, if you create a connector here, like this, you've got one more to um, light, light up something. I, I don't know what you could light up, but you can light something up. <laughs> uh, miscellaneous, what else you can do is... We need circuitry. If we find circuitry, then we can create our management system, which is the next thing I'd be looking at doing, um, aside from the food. Now, I did collect a few gourds and, and such, so we, we do have a little, uh, a few things to plant. I'll show you what to do. Meantime, uh, lights, yeah, we can put a light in here. There you go. Gives us a little bit of light in that area right there. And power switches and connectors. We can do a larger one. This one go to that. Nope, it won't. It's going to be a little bit. Maybe if I move it a bit. There we go. Okay. So we've started to get some power going. We're going to have some power for this area. Um, and we can run that now. 
connect them along the street all the way around when we get enough resources. It's going to take quite a few resources, so you know um, that's going to take time. But we've we've made a start, right? Uh, one thing you can do, one little trick, is this: if I can make one, is you can put on your power poles a little light. There you are. Okay. So what else do we need? So we want to get started. Just um, you're going to have to build beds as part of the quest. So you only need one bed for yourself right now. That's all you need. And uh, you need some water. You've got water, um, more than enough. So let's get rid of that. In here, I'll just come out of the menu. You have melons, so harvest them. Need to them. assign someone to this. Need to harvest. assign someone to this. Yeah, you do, but we also just want to harvest for now. I need to assign someone to this. Okay, so we've got a little back garden, back garden plot, all right? And uh, how did this take going? So, whoa, where am I to? So let's find our food is under resources and under food. And as you click across, you'll see that it's going to, it comes up with this little yellow thing. So I, I can plant that somewhere. I'll just plant it there. And I've got quite a few because I picked up a few as well. And it doesn't matter where you plant them for now. We can also plant some melons and they will come in here when the people arrive in the settlement and start harvesting these. All right, they'll go into your, um, I also picked up razor grain, did I? No, I didn't, okay. So to get the potatoes, you go to Abernathy Farm, and Abernathy Farm is, I'm not sure if we can see it from here, but we can have a look. Oh. Take two. All right, over there, where you see that bubble thing, head in that direction, okay? And uh, that's the Red Rocket Station is just here. The Abernathy Farm is there, and... Um, once you get there, you can get yourself some more melon and um, buy some resources. There's someone to trade with. There's a quest to uh, get to kill some raiders, and um, it's it's well worth doing because then you actually gain. Once you've done their quest line, you gain that settlement. So it's definitely worth it. Um, so hopefully you guys can hear me well enough since I've been talking for so long. <laughs> So uh, in the, uh, 10 minutes, uh, I've got 10 minutes left and then I'm going to take a little break and I'm going to hop back on um, shortly after and continue building this settlement. All right, so if you want to watch that, um, I might have to go out and do a few little quests and things and whatever, but I'm going to clean up and just tidy and build as much as I can in this settlement for a few hours after that. So you're welcome to join me um, and uh, yeah, grab yourself a, a drink, a, a beverage, hot beverage or whatever, a Milo, <laughs> and uh, chill out and, and watch and uh, see if there's something you can learn from it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I love this game. I can play for hours and hours and hours on this game. Just lose, <laughs> lose days. You know, it's one of those games for me that um, I love the building component. And I don't really care about getting the quests done. I get them all done eventually, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not like so quest focused. I'm more building focused in this. And um, that's okay. Like I said, it's your game. You play it however you want to. <laughs> now. People need jobs and uh, therefore I like to create some of these scavenging stations and they will put items back into your workshop because they'll just, oh, essentially go around the place, scavenge stuff and, uh, and uh, yeah, you will have more resources. So it's always a good thing. I, I think I'll put them down here actually. I'm going to build an area for all this crafting but for now, look hey. We just got here, so let's just peg a few of these along. And um, I don't think they'll want to do that in the trees. Maybe over here. But Preston Garvey likes to 
hang on hang around this house and continually smack at it with a hammer <laughs> when we when we get him here you'll see uh, so how are we looking we've got 33 water we've got 10 defense I've got a bed um, I'm not bothering with building other beds yet I'm building a structure here as you can see and um, I may have settlers upstairs and I'll create the little rooms and beds up the top and I'll do the same with all of these houses all right and then we are building our own little entertainment zone and oh something I'd like to show you is actually stores now you'll see I need a certain amount of caps in order to do that and I need the second rank of local leader which I have to be level 14 in order to get so you've got to get to level 14 to get rank 2 um, and then be able to start building your own traders in your settlement All right um, crafting benches it's again you need a certain ranking you need a certain level to do but we can do a nuka mixer station and I always do like to do that the settlers seem to like it <laughs> always playing with it so uh, it's just a, again an aesthetic thing for me but, uh, yeah there we go we've got a little drink area but maybe not there oh, we can put it here just there if you come in you've got a nuka victory I like that I like that victory right so what I want to do is build some um, equipment sports equipment firstly I'm going to put some mats down given that this is our entertainment zone we are going to put some rubber matting down for our little gymnasium area here if I can find it oh no it's not there it's under ah yep, I'm doing it to myself again decorations floral covers there we are that's what we want okay and we want to go all the way across until we get this the rubber floor mat and you'll see with all the tires around every time you collect a tire it's going to um, and break it down you'll be able to make these floor mats all right and they don't look half bad there you are it's just black um, and it'll cover a lot of <laughs> a lot of ugly <laughs> mess that <laughs> that is otherwise quite difficult to cover sometimes so uh, we can just you know let's just hit it with a couple of these and uh, make a nice little entrance so sometimes they sit up off um, they don't like to sit flat down which is a bit annoying but I think I'll just leave that for now I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm going to put fencing around anyway okay so that's that miscellaneous we have a few things that's from the um, the extension packs that I've got so you won't get those ones uh, but you will get like you you know a little uh, cigarette thing um, a fireplace of course so if you have a fireplace traders tend to conglomerate around that so we can put the fireplace over here somewhere so we can keep them all close at hand they're not not over at the other end of the settlement somewhere a cigarette machine for people who like that sort of thing right next to the gymnasium because of contrast just for the purposes of contrast <laughs> just because <laughs> there we go <laughs> all right and what else have we got an, an ice machine or a cooler um, you've got a milk machine now some people also use the back of this um, for certain decorations as well um, you can make lights I can't have the radio on because of copyright reasons and whatever so the radios are off uh, you can make a nice big industrial bin you can make a regular bin so I'd like to have a regular bin because I don't want people littering I don't like that so there we go just put that there and these are beach umbrellas that come with it uh, from one of the add-ons and you get these lovely trees and, and everything so um, 
these nice little palm trees. I always like look, putting these little palm trees around. But you don't get this in the um, original game. So this is from the mods that you can buy, that you can um, get. Um, so you can have a look at the, the um, creation menu. And there's a better version of the bin. Different flags and so on. Um, so I was looking for... Must be in miscellaneous furniture. Let's check it out. And the reason I want to do this is because uh, fish rack. No. There we are. Okay. Have a look at pommel horse and the, see the little smiley face there. Produces happiness in your settlement. So if you have these, you'll find that um, your settlers are more. You know. Don't complain as much and uh, it just generally the morale of the settlement is a much better so got some workbenches there and uh, work no, weight <laughs> weight benches <laughs> and we're going to get somebody on the horse I might do it right now and uh, let's go Very tricky. <laughs> so you can't stop it halfway, you have to let them go all the way through. <laughs> but it's rather entertaining. <laughs> so with that thought, I'm going to take a break and um, thank you for watching. Um, please join me in about half an hour. So I will be back on doing some more building on this settlement. I'm going to continue. If you want to, uh, you want to see more, then uh, join me in half an hour and um, I will see you then hopefully okay for now <laughs> so energetic so so energetic my oh my too much nuka cola <laughs> see you soon okay come back a uh, half an hour and um, join me for an extended play on um, building i'll just keep on building the settlement it will be um, reduced commentary and more building and game ambience okay bye for now <laughs>